Dear doctor and supervisor, this film will show you how to do a sensory test. The benefit of your patient will be that the diagnosis can be timely confirmed or that leprosy can be ruled out in suspected cases. And early treatment means less risk of disability. In addition, the sensory test is used during follow-up of the treatment to timely detect new nerve damage. Here, the girl and you will notice that she is very cooperative. Start your test in normal skin and continue thereafter in the patch. I tell her to point the touched site with her fingertip. Now, we practice it with open eyes. And then with closed eyes. If there is misreference of more than 3 cm, this means a definite sensory loss. You can repeat the test to confirm the results. The girl showed complete loss of sensation and misreference. There is clearly loss of sensation in the patch. This patch shows definite loss of sensation as well. When a patch cannot be reached by the patient, then he may count the number of times the ball pen touches. Testing is one thing, but your observation is useless without conclusion. So what if the whole patch may not have definite sensory loss? Even if some part of the patch is having definite loss of sensation, it is diagnostic of leprosy. Testing should never be done in a hurry. Take care to give enough pause between the touches. The ball point should tap gently without stroking. Ensure that the person cannot see a sight of touch. The loss of sensation over the patch generally remains after complete MDT treatment. The ulnar nerve is tested on the side of the little finger. The median nerve is tested on the side of the thumb. Care should be taken to examine a minimum of two points on each nerve area, the most proximal and distal to it, so that each nerve is tested. An examination is not complete without proper recording. The posterior tibial nerve is tested on the sole of the foot. Two main branches should be tested at a minimum of two points. One serves the medial sole, the other one serves the lateral sole. It is always advantageous to also test over the heel to examine a third branch of the posterior tibial nerve. The most important nerve, the posterior tibial is often neglected while examining. This is often due to the uncomfortable position of the examiner to test this nerve. To examine the lateral popliteal nerve, sensory test is done on the dorsum of the foot and the lower part of the leg. It is important to record normal sensation as baseline so that any deterioration in future can be detected. Recent sensory loss, this is less than 6 months duration, can be recovered by prednisolone treatment. Therefore, the history of duration and the patient record should not be forgotten. If there is loss of sensation, it indicates the risk of developing ulcers and the need of self-care and protective footwear. And of course, there are other lep clips made on these very important topics.
This examination does not need to take more than a few minutes. In fact, it should be a routine during MDT follow-up to detect early nerve impairment. Testing sensation. Always remember to demonstrate and explain the test. Use ballpoint pen for sensory testing. Touch gently. A dimple should never be produced. Don't stroke. Ensure that the person cannot see your point of touch. While testing hand or foot, support the part to avoid movement at joint. If there is misreference of more than 3 cm, this means there is a definite sensory loss. If there is loss of sensation in arms or sole, it indicates that there is risk of developing ulcer and need for self-care and protective footwear. Loss of sensation on patch or in nerve area may remain after MDT also.